I will show you um, how to configure this Edimax 3G router on the 3G side. There are two ways to configure this one. You can put configure this one on the XDSL. And I'm from the Philippines, and this is our APN. This is very important in configuring your 3G router. You have to consider your internet service provider and what is the e APN. Its provider different APN, and this is our example in our country, is smart broadband, and this will be changed in depends on the internet service provider. You have to be update on your APN. I will show you how to configure this one manually. There are two ways to configure this one. You can use the CD from the box and you can configure that one manually. This is the video how to configure manually. Okay, before you arrive on this page, you have to connect the cable there's a cable from the box you have to connect that on the port the LAN port 1 to 3 4 at the back to your PC or laptop and you have be sure that your USB is connected at the back of the router the 3G router access that one the default is uh, 192.168.2 that one this is the IP of the router and Authentication will come out. The username is admin small caps and the password is 1234. After inputting that one, this page will come out. This is the Edimax page. If you want to configure this one to the 3G, you have to access on this side. This is the one wide area network. If you click that one, there's an option there the 3G and 3.5G. Click that one, just left it, click, and this is the APN. You have to check your APN. You can see that one if you ins install that in your laptop or PC, install the software there. You can s check that one on the network settings and check your APN. You can see that option there, and you have to check the if it's all caps or internet internet that globe it depends on your internet service provider input that one then some some internet service provider different dialer but this is the, the default you can see that one on the network information if you install it to your desktop or PC. This is the dialer asterisk 99 and number sign. Then after inputting the data here, your APN, it depends on your country and the dialer, and just click apply on the below. Okay, apply. Click that one, and another window is going to ask you. If you're going to to apply, uh, click apply, then another window will come out and click apply again. After that, if a few minutes, I think less than a minute, the router will going to reboot because you change some settings. And after change some settings, if you want to check if your router is connected to the internet, you have to click status info. This one, status info. Then this will the window will come out. Then you can see here below. This is the very version of the firmware. You can ask your local support about the version of firmware and how to upgrade this one. What what are compatibility compatible modem on this one? You have to update. This version is in our country. This version is supported on the PLDT VROM with username and password. Then click internet connection. Then this is the one status. This is the status on the using word. And you can see on the 
below below window below this is the 3g status you have to after configuring on the APN and checking the firmware it's if your modem is compatible this one indicates connected then you can see here IP address subnet gateway and some data here uh, DNS and the gateway this is the modem info if you click this one you can see the manufacturer of your modem usually in our country there are manufacturers like ZTE, Huawei you can see the manufacturer, the product, IMA and the signal strength of your modem I hope this video helps you how to configure your 3G router Thank you.